to another video here, Gatsky. So those what is up. So today I will be doing my 2015 favorites, and I do apologize for the delay. I know that this is way late compared to my previous yearly favorites. I know, guys. But if you have been following me in my social media accounts, you will know that my life has been hectic lately. So yeah, I'm really sorry for that. That is actually my cat. Yeah. And I will be dividing this video and I will be dividing my faves into five categories. Basically skincare, hair care, body care, and then the other four will be makeup like face, cheek, lips, and eyes. So yeah, the first this first video will be my skincare product. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first category that I would like to start with is hair care, and I only have one product under that category, and this is the Moringa O Malungai Herbal Hair Scalp and Skin Therapy Oil, and I use this mainly for my hair. I love how moisturizing this is. I started using this when I had my hair bleached, and I use this, or I, I the way that I use this is I apply it from my scalp, and then onto the tips of my hair and I leave it there for 30 minutes before I shower and then I rinse it off when I shower. Basically it just keeps my hair moisturized, hydrated and yeah tangle free. So I really really love this. Uh, yeah it's just very effective. Looking forward to body products I have here the Naked Skin Basics Grapefruit Bergamot Dry Oil Mist and this is really effective when it comes to just getting rid of your dry patches. I have a weird dry patch on my back and it is really scaly. I know that's kind of like a TMI, but this completely got rid of that with just a few spritz. It completely got rid of that. I am so amazed with this one. The reason that I was not able to um, use this, I, I just to let you know, I was not able to use this right away when I got it because um, if you have been following, if you have been following me, or if you've read my blog during the month of May, you will know that I transferred, or I had my room like renovated, so I had to, I had to keep all of my new products um, in my, or I have to, I have to keep, yeah, I have to keep all of my new products uh, stashed. So yeah, I was not able to use this right away, but when, but, but. But when I was, but when I transferred back to my room, I I discovered I rediscovered it, and it is a really good product, especially if you have dry skin. And it says here that, well, it doesn't have any claims right here, but it is, it has. Okay, so I'm just gonna <laughs> jot down right here um, uh, the product, uh, the sort of like the benefits or what it contains, because I really don't want to butcher the names. But yeah, and I'm also going to link down below the product page. So yeah, it is really effective if you have dry skin or if you have dry patches. So the next product that I would like to mention is the Birds Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. I did a quick review or a weekly rave about this one. This is a really good product if you have, if you if you would like to keep your hands moisturized. It is a bit heavy though compared to other hand creams that I have encountered but that's the reason why I really like it it's just you know it keeps your it keeps your hands moisturized for a really um, for a really long um, for, for for a lengthy amount of time if that makes sense I really do love it and I really like the scent it it smells like almonds I really I really really like it uh, as you can see it is a really heavy formula and it won't fall in seconds. Um, I'm almost out of it, so I really do love it. I'm going to link my review down below. And yeah, moving forward to skincare products, I'm going to start with this one. This is the Safeguard Derma Sense Gently Cancer Sensitive Skin Facial Cleanser. This is a really, really good product, or this is a really, really good facial cleanser. I have had like three tubes of this one. I've never. I've never had that, um, I have never repurchased a facial cleanser like that before. I mean, I have never repurchased up to three tubes of a facial cleanser before. So clearly this is a very effective facial cleanser for me. I really like it. It just, cleans, it just cleanses my face 
like no other I know that's kind of like a wild uh, review or like <laughs> a very yeah I know that I know that that's a lot coming from me but I really do like it 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 is it is good if you have sensitive skin and it's just I'm really really in love with this one it doesn't matter well it doesn't have any bubbles or whatever but I really do like it I just I use it with um with uh with a with a brush that I got from uh Etude House so so for me it's good I really do love it <laughs> I am running out of adjectives to describe this one but yeah I love it I have included this in in my skincare routine I have included this in my favorites post you gotta try this one, you guys. Moving forward to another skincare favorite, I would like to include and I would like to include my SK2 products, particularly uh, the SK2 facial treatment essence. I know that by now I should have emptied this huge uh, container, huge, huge bottle. I am running out of words, but yeah, I. It says that you're only supposed to empty the empty or you you're only supposed to consume this by like 20 or 40 days I'm not sure but yeah I cannot bear the thought of um, running out of this one because this is really really expensive this is made out of 90% patera and I have witnessed I have witnessed a huge change or I have witnessed a really big change with my skin and a lot of people have been complimenting my skin ever since I started using SK2 products particularly my knees my knees was like you know what happened to your skin your your, your skin is glowing your skin she's just she's just complimented my skin really well so I really do love it um I really love the entire line but as I mentioned most the the products that I have been using the most is this one and then the and then the SK2 Illumination or essence I have three of their essences but the one that I have been loving the most is this one it comes in this really beautiful iridescent packaging it caught my to be quite honest the packaging is what caught my eye at first but the reason that I have been using it up to this moment is because it is just it just keeps my face really um, radiant glowing and it also keeps my face really hydrated so uh, I am really in love with it and it's very lightweight it is a lot more um, the formula is a lot more lightweight compared to the cream which is which is what I'm about to mention uh, next and this as I mentioned this is the SK2 RNA power radical new age this is the first product that I got from the beauty bound Asia um, by the way, these SK2 products are other products that I got from Beauty About Asia. If you would like to know, or if you would like to, yeah, if you would like to follow my Beauty About Asia training, I'm going to link the playlist down below, and you will also, that's my guy, you will also see a card right here. But yeah, this is a radical new age moisturizing cream. This is the one that you top. This is the one that you use on top of the the essences. This is a bit heavier compared to this one, which is kind of weird considering that this is more of like a serum, so you only use it during night time. But for me, if I have like if I'm going somewhere and I need more of like a lightweight moisturizer, I just use this one instead. And I also use this, and I also mix this with like a CC cream or a BB cream. I will I will link um well I will I will link um my uh, no makeup makeup look down below so you will know what I do with this one but yeah I really do love this as well it is very moisturizing and if you and if I use the entire SK2 line it's just as I mentioned it's just changed my entire skincare routine so yeah skincare skincare routine facial whatever but yeah and then the, the next um, last but not the least um, SK2 product that I would like to mention is the SK2 uh, uh, Stem Power Eye Cream. To be quite honest with you guys, I don't really um, recognize any like lightening effect when it comes to my under eye circles. I really don't have like really dark under eye circles, but I 
I have noticed that it's getting like puffy and dark ever since I ever since I got promoted. But yeah, I don't really notice any lightening um, ever since I started using this. But I do notice that it keeps my it keeps that area moisturized. Even though even before when uh, when my eyes started being puffy and all that jazz, um, those uh, that particular spot is really dry, and this one keeps keeps that area moisturized every time I use this. So maybe with continuous use, um, yeah, maybe with continuous use, or maybe yeah, maybe with continuous use, I will be able to see more. Um, I'll be able to see. Uh, I w it will be more effective or I will be able to see more results because to be quite honest with you guys, I sometimes skip this. Sometimes forget. But yeah, moving forward to other skincare products. I have a ton actually. But yeah, this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I got this last August during their event. I believe that this is a new formula. I have a review about it down below. Um, I have a review about it in my blog and I will be linking it down below. I really like this. I use this during my day off or during yeah during my rest days if I would like to have more of like that relaxed. I, I would like if I would like to look more relaxed um, the day after because this smells so good. It helps you sleep more or something like that. I am not sure if I'm if I'm saying that correctly or if I'm yeah if I'm saying that correctly. But for me, it kind of induces a lot more sleep or it's just or it just makes you look more radiant and awake or relaxed in the morning so I really do like it it's just you know your skin looks a lot more different in the morning so I really do love this one and another product from Laneige is the lip sleeping lip lip sleeping <laughs> lip sleeping mask and I and this is really hydrating you guys I really love it I use this even I, I even use this during the daytime even though I'm not going to sleep because this is really hydrating. Um, the the um, the way that you use this is that you you apply it on before you apply it onto your lips before you sleep and or when when yeah when you're going to sleep and then when you wake up you wipe it off with a tissue. But uh, sometimes I don't really feel the product anymore when I wake up maybe because I air-conditioned room and it just I don't know it's I don't know it just disappears or something like that or it just gets absorbed but yeah I really do love it it just keeps my lips plump and hydrated the morning after so I really love it so yeah so I believe those are all of the skincare oh no uh, the next I still have one more and I would like to include it in this category because I have already mentioned a lip care product so um, so another lip care product is the Burt's Bees Wild Cherry Moisturizing Lip Balm Ow. Moisturizing Lip Balm. Basically, Burt's Bees Lip Balms. Burt's Bees Lip Balms are my favorite ever since like way, way back. Um, this is just the one that I grabbed in my drawer. I, I believe I have like a ton. I believe I have like a number of them, but this is the one that I have been loving recently. I know that it is, it is not really more like a yearly favorite, but as I mentioned, Bird's Beast is something that I have been loving way, way back. But this is really moisturizing if you are if you would like to grab like a Bird's Beast lip balm. You might want to check Wild Cherry. It is, it is, I really do love the scent and it is a very moisturizing and it's and it just keeps your lips hydrated for hours and hours so I really do love this it is a bit pricey compared to other lip balms that I have encountered like drugstore lip balms but it is organic and it doesn't really wear off that easy so I really so those are all of my skincare body care and hair care favorites I hope that you enjoy this video thumbs up if you did Comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to suggest any future videos that you would like to see in this channel. And also, I will be listing all of these products in my blog post, in the corresponding blog post, which will be linked down below. And yeah, um, stay tuned for all of the other videos that will be 
um, in this play, I will be creating a playlist specifically for my 2015 favorites as I mentioned. There will be four more and that will be uploaded in the following days. I promise to upload it, upload it um, within the week. I promise to do it. But yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!